What's up guys? It's Recipe Thursday and I have a special guest. It's me! My name's Carrie. I'm from Las Vegas and I'm super excited to be here with you. Vegas in the house. So I'm super pumped that he's here today because we are making keto strawberry shortcake and you know how it is when I make this shit and then I have to eat the whole thing. So... I'm here to help! <laughs> yes. I have a best interest in mind and your best interest in mind too because uh, cake's meant to be shared, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, Carrie, first things first. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. All right, I lined a loaf pan with parchment paper. <laughs> In a large bowl, we're gonna add a half a cup of monk's fruit sweetener and four tablespoons of grass-fed butter. And you're gonna mix that up. Next, we're gonna add one fourth cup of sour cream and you're gonna beat that until it's combined. All right, next we're gonna add four eggs, but we're gonna mix in between every single egg. Next we're gonna add in one and a half cup of almond flour, one fourth cup of coconut flour, and one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna mix that all up. Next, we're gonna fold in three fourth cups of strawberries. Fold that in gently. All right, now we're gonna pour this into the loaf pan, the mixture with the strawberries and everything else. And we're gonna bake it for about 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, while the bread is baking, we are going to make some whipped cream. So add 16 ounces of heavy whipping cream to a bowl. And two tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. Using a hand mixer, we're gonna mix that up until um, peaks form. All right, the bread is out of the oven. What we're gonna do next is cut a piece. Yum. We're gonna top a piece with some uh, whipped cream and a couple of strawberries. And we're gonna feed it to Carrie. All right, guys, it's done. I don't know why it looks like that. Oh, background defocus. Okay, hopefully this is working. Come over here. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, I was too busy looking at myself, so then I'm distracted. Um, Who, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. All right, sorry, he has to duck. Let me grab you a fork. I was just gonna like, is this like cake in the face? Like, Yeah, it's just gonna shove it in your face. Uh. <laughs> so you let them right. know how it tastes. So I'm gonna get a little of the cake, a lot of it of the whipped topping, and a couple strawberry bites here. Oh, well. Here we go. Ready? You can be honest too. It's so warm still. I know. I just like, took it out of the oven. No, no, no. Like oh. it tastes like it tastes like grandma memories. Yeah. It's good. No, it's really good. The cake is nice and it's not dense, which is nice. It's fluffy, uh, which is like a short cake should be. And uh, what's the whipped topping? It's just um. Just heavy whipping cream. Yeah. Heavy whipping cream and a little bit of monk fruit. Yeah, it's nice. It's not overwhelming, but it definitely satisfies that sweet tooth. So you should so try. So two it. thumbs up. Two thumbs. Oh, two. One thumb up. One thumb sideways. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's recipe Thursday. Here you have it. Two thumbs up. Give this one a try. Um, you know, remember, I'll be back here again next week for another recipe Thursday. You get to vote over on my Facebook like page on Monday, so make sure to follow me there. And don't forget to hit subscribe because I come back every week with a recipe and sometimes throughout the week with some other fun stuff. I should fly up every Thursday. You should. <laughs> you need somebody to eat the food. All right, guys. Till next time. Peace.